Hi YouTube, in this video I'll show you guys how to create a voice recognition software and uh, basically it's an application and for this we will be using Visual Studio okay. Now I want you to create go to a new and click on, on project and go to C Sharp Windows Form application and name this application uh, voice recognition software so I'm just going to type here what we are alright guys this is our form I'm just going to uh, change its size and now let's go to toolbox and type here a text box now let's go with the rich text box I'm just going to rearrange its size. Now let's go to the button. I'm just going to do it very quick. Yeah. Okay, we are going to use two buttons. One is for enable and other is for disable. Okay, this one is for enable. I'm just going to change the same. over here as well now go to okay this is what is for disable and over here as well I'm going to change it to disable Okay guys, now I want you to find over here uh, enable and it's over here right now, just change it to false. Okay, we are done. Now what I want you to do is that uh, we are done. Now let's start uh, writing the code. Okay, so what I want you to do is go to reference and type here. Yeah, and check this one on speech uh, system dot speech okay make sure you check this one on and click on ok ok now now let's add over here using system dot speech dot recognition I'm sorry speed dot Nation. Okay, now I want you to declare over here an object. So I'm going to type here system. Speech. Speak recognition, uh, recognition engine and check one on this one. And I'm going to name this one um, recognition uh, speech SE. Okay. And let's say equals to new speech recognition engine. And now I want you to go uh, over here to the form and check this one. And over here, uh, let's say that uh, I'm going to declare choice ch equals to new. right now I'm going to add over here as uh, array in which I'm going to store some words so I'm going to declare string array and I'm going to assign some words let's say that for this tutorial just I'm going to use two words hi and hello Now we have to declare a uh, grammar uh, grammar builder grammar builder and I'm going to name it GB
Okay, now I'm going to... Uh, now write over here gb dot append ch and now I'm going to uh, create uh, now we are going to create a variable for grammar so grammar I'm going to name this one as grammar grammar equals to new and in this we have to type g b okay now i'm going to load the grammar so r s e dot uh, load grammar is sync and g r a double m a r grammar Okay, now we want to uh, add a set default audio device and okay now what we want to do is uh, now we have to create a event handler so se dot speech Okay, so this line I have included it, and in the inside it, I'm just going to type in here. Uh, uh, let's say that it's, it's an even handler, and I'm just going to type here uh, if uh, e dot result dot text. Okay, it's equal equals to in in our uh, array we have right over here hi and i'm just going to say equal equals to hi so what it's going to do that message message box dot show hi um, i am fine so what this system does when we are going to say it hi it will uh, print a message box which states that I am fine okay now let's go to our enable button and I'm going to write here uh, sp sp dot uh, speech uh, recognize oops sorry recognize async recognize mode dot multiple and okay so what I'm gonna do here is um, uh, just have to do that when you run this program when I press enable so I just want uh, that which we uh, a button disabled which uh, which we disabled earlier and we have to enable that as well so disable dot um, enable equals to true And now let's go for our uh, disable button. Uh, se se dot uh, system async stop. And now I want you to do disable dot enable equals to false. Now we are good to go. So uh, let's say that this is our program. Let's run it. Okay guys, let's say let's. I'm going to click on enable. Hi, hi. I'm fine. So let's. It's working. And let's disable it. And let's stop this running. Okay. So we have uh, over here, first case. It's uh, we work fine. Now let's say that we have also stored hello. So I'm going to store uh, say else. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, e dot text equals t. Let, uh, let's use switch statement over here. But uh, so our case is small, so that's why we don't need it right now. But I will recommend you to use switch statement over here instead of using uh, if else statement. Instead of typing e dot text uh, again and again, so switch statement is better over here if you use it. So right now, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to use over here. Uh, uh, let's say e dot result dot text equal equals to. Hello. So what I'm gonna do is that when it says hello, it will just print that message over there. So uh, no, yeah, rich text box one plus equals to. Text box one dot text. Plus equals to uh, when I say hello, uh, it's print, it is going to print. I am fine over there. So I'm going to write over here. I am fine. Now 